Hey everybody, I'm happy to be here today and the, the topic of today is oh, Are you marrying a stranger? Um, this topic actually was in my head for quite some time after working with numerous men who often run into very similar situations I feel that it's almost a scenario that just been passed on and on I felt that this video must be made and possibly they're gonna be more following up videos with that what if your lady isn't necessarily a scam she's not scamming you she's not um, asking you for money or she's showing up to all the meetings uh, but your relationship just doesn't go anywhere you you want to un to understand what's happening you you're thinking about maybe starting with her but one thing that you don't point uh, don't um, take so much attention don't put enough attention on is that getting to know her understanding her and also uh, developing uh, a true connection in your relationship so what often happens that some of you guys and you know we can see some videos on youtube about it probably there are some um documentary even on this what guys do is that they naively think that just because they are an american just because they got some cash in their pocket uh or not always even they are wealthy uh they feel like oh she just want to marry me just because I am, you know, from a Western country. And this is where you kind of shoot yourself in the foot because you propose a stranger woman, a woman you know nothing about. Uh, like I often hear, oh, Veronica, you know, she's uh, 30 years old, uh, she's tall, she's blonde, um, yeah, she has very nice style, but I'm asking who she is, what kind of person she is, what she likes, what she's about, what's her values, what, how she sees the future, uh, do you communicate, do you have great connection, emotional, mental, and physical, do you really feel that you just have to be together that you connect you might have somewhat language barrier but it doesn't matter because you connect and what do you know more about your interest except you know going and buying new shoes very often what happened uh, guys don't put much effort to get to know ladies they just enjoy oh my gosh she's so beautiful they imagine how they're going to bring this beautiful wife and all the friends and family going to be jealous you know whatever or just enjoying the beautiful woman they've never had in their life of course there is often a 20 plus uh, age difference sorry guys <laughs> that's a real life moment wow this was just a minute so there is uh, obviously very often there is a um, bigger difference in age and very often the lady is very attractive and the guy is okay but she probably wouldn't choose him if he would be a Ukrainian guy. So there is all these factors and there are definitely couples where the guy is taking this dad's role you know he's older he's more mature he's taking care of his woman and she uh maybe they don't know each other that well but they really want to give it a chance they they really like how they uh you know she gives him this uh feeling of being loved and he gives her the feeling of security and it works out great but very often you um some of uh the man I talk to and I hear about and I look stories, they propose to a lady that they don't even know her last name, they've never been into her home, they never met her family. And in fact, the lady does everything so it doesn't happen. So guys, is it really lady's responsibility here or is it your being somewhat uh, ignorant and naive and that you uh, propose to a person you don't know, you don't feel warmth from, you don't know much about, you don't know um, your family. Um, 
and you propose, how do you think you look in the eyes of a lady? She doesn't probably even feel guilty because she's thinking, what is he doing? Like, would you give a key of your house to a person that you don't even know? Like, you, it looks like a nice person, she's cute. Would you give to uh, a, a person that just walks on, on a street a key from your home saying, hey, you know, I really trust you, you, you you're so lovely, you look cute. Here is just a key from my house, you know, just in case. You probably wouldn't, so you wouldn't give password from your bank account. And also, you would not, if you'd be marrying in US, uh, you know, Canada, England, Portugal, where, wherever, you know, you would be, would you, if that would be your native country, would you say to an American girl, if you were an American man, hey, let's get married on a third date? Would you do that before you got to meet your environment? Before, first of all, you created, created connection with her, then meet you in her environment, then uh, feel that, you know, you're on the same page in life and it sounds beautiful to be together. Of course, you would not do that if you are in your mind. So why do you think you can just jump into something um, in Ukraine that fast without getting little to no feedback of um, connection, affection, um, intimate close, closeness, and all things of this nature. Why do you think that Ukrainian women are so desperate that they would get to uh, getting married with a known guy, with a person that they don't know at all and go to a known country? Yes, there are women that would do that, but do you really want to be with the woman like that? That's the question to answer. Thank you, guys.